Hi everyone and welcome to my channel, my name's Jane. So today's video is a how to sew along, how to sew the perfect pussy bow tie blouse, namely the Ava blouse, my new pattern that's just been released to run alongside the written instructions. So before we get sewing, just a little recap of what the Ava blouse consists of. It comes with two sleeve lengths, short sleeve, long sleeve, pussy bow tie detail or the tie detail, sizes 6 to 22. So without further ado, let's get sewing. So we've got the written instructions that follow alongside this tutorial if you need to refer to them. Everything is there in the step by step which we will be following along with too. And uh, yeah, it's as I say, all the instructions are there. There's a little note sheet at the back for you to add notes for next time and some inspiration styling images. So firstly, we need to cut out our pattern pieces. I am using the short sleeve version with the tie detail to start with. So obviously you choose your sleeve length and the cuff that corresponds with it. There's two cuffs, obviously two sleeves and two neckties. So you decide which one you're choosing and then get everything cut out, cut your notches, ready for sewing. So I am wearing the long sleeve version. You can just see there my sleeves there. So they're the long sleeve and I'm working on the short sleeve, but it's, it's constructed exactly the same way, apart from a little bit of difference on the necktie. So first things first, let's get our front bodice pieces and mark our darts, pin the darts, and then we will sew them together on the sewing machine. Match up your notches there at the end of each dart and just use either tailor's chalk like I have or an erasable pen just so you can highlight where you're stitching along for those darts. And then obviously once you've sewn your darts we're going to give them a nice press. I like to press mine down towards the hemline, the waistline. So just give them a nice press and press as you go along. Press all your seams and everything that you sew as you go along. Okay, so next we're going to pin our shoulders. So with right sides together, put your front bodice pieces lined up with your back piece and just pin them both together. And then take them to the machine using one centimeter seam allowance. So your seams and neaten the edges. So I've neatened them and I'm just gonna give them a quick press and I always press my seams towards the back. And I'm just going to stay stitch the neckline. This prevents anything from stretching out as we're handling the garment, especially if you're using a very, very drapey fabric. So just starting at the centre back notch and working within the seam allowance, just run a, a line of stay stitching along the neckline and then come back to the centre back and work in the other direction. Just like you can see me doing there and that just prevents, as I say, from stretching out. So next we're going to neaten the front seams, the centre front seams of the bodice, front bodice. So just neaten your edges without trimming anything away, just neaten those edges. And then we're going to place our front pieces together and you have a notch there. So if you mark your notch, that's where your stitching is going to begin and just pin all the way along like so. I put two pins in just so I know where my notch is there. And then again, so down here but this is going to be one and a half centimeter seam allowance just for this section of the blouse one and a half centimeters for your seam allowance so, so all the way down and then we're going to press the seam open all the way along right up to the top and once we've pressed it nice and neat we're then going to press in that overlocked edge in again in and under and then we're going to top stitch the edge. So just as you can see, just fold it under and press and pin in place. We do that for both sides. And then once we've done that, take it to the machine and we're just going to do a row of top stitching along both sides. And I like to use my presser foot just against the folded edge there as a guide. 
and it gives a lovely top stitching a little bit of an effect on the front of the blouse and if you want to be really truly adventurous you could also add a nice embroidery stitch that most modern day machines come with so there you can see me just literally top stitching along the edge and that gives a really nice effect on the blouse so next things up we're going to pin the side seams together and we're back to our one centimeter seam allowance so pin your side seams down the side and ensuring your darts are pointing towards the waistline and sew and neaten your edges for both sides obviously and now we're coming on to the sleeves like as I said earlier it doesn't matter which which sleeve length you, you choose they are both constructed the exact same way so you choose your sleeve and the cuff that goes with the sleeve and we're going to pin our cuffs together along the two short edges we're going to sew them one centimeter and press and turn them over so you've got wrong sides together so you turn them over like so so the two raw edges are together and pin give it a quick press and then we're going to pin our seam and our notch we have a, like a center notch and a seam so just pop a pin in so you can see whereabouts you're going to pin that cuff to the sleeve when it's ready to be pinned in place so now taking our sleeves we're just going to place right sides together sew along the under arm of the sleeve sew and neaten using one centimeter seam allowance so once we've done that so on your machine set your stitch length to the longest and work two rows of gathering stitch. I like to do mine using my presser foot against the edge for the first row and then I usually go in a few millimeters from that first row for my second row. It's usually within the seam allowance so it does stop you having to pull out the, those stitches later on if you can help it. And then don't forget to set your machine back down to your normal stitch width. And then just pull gently on your two of your gathering you're gathering threads and just pull gently so you get a nice even gather around the sleeve and until it fits the width of the cuff there and I just like to secure my thread around figure of eight round one of my pins and then just obviously neaten and equal out the gathers there obviously do this for both sleeves and once you've got your gathers just the way you want them and it fits the cuff. I'm just adjusting mine slightly there just so it fits. And then you're going to turn your sleeve right side out. And we're going to then place our cuffs right sides together and raw edges together over onto the gathered part of that sleeve, which you will see me do in a minute. Okay, so matching up your, your side seams with your side seam of your sleeve and your notch with your notches on your sleeve and your cuff. Pop your pins in there and then you know you've got the cuff on equally and then you just pin all the way around making sure your gathers are kept nice and even. And then once you've done that for both sleeves, you're going to take it to the sew machine and again using one centimetre seam allowance stitch the cuffs to the sleeves and then once you've done that finish the sleeves off with a nice neatened edge using your overlocker or zigzag whichever you prefer if you have any uh, gathering stitches that are showing through on the right side then this is the time to just pull them out just give them a, a little bit of a pull with your stitch ripper or your scissors and they should just come out quite easily And I'm just going to give the sleeve 
a nice press there ready for inserting into the blouse. So next we're going to take our blouse, turn it the right side out and then make sure you've got your correct sleeves lined up with the correct side of your blouse. So you have one notch which is the front of the sleeve and the two notches are the back of the sleeve. So make sure you've got the notches matching correctly there. Line up the sleeve seam with the side seam as well and then just pin in place. You also have a notch on the, the center of your sleeve head. So if you line up that notch with your shoulder seam and then just pin your way around evenly and just plenty of pins. If you're using quite a drapey fabric, you, you might need to use quite a few pins just to ease that sleeve in. And then once you've got them both pinned, again, over to the machine, one centimeter seam, seam allowance and overlock both those seams once, once you're finished sewing them both together. So next we're just going to overlock the hem edge. So overlock without any trimming, don't trim anything off, just overlock or neaten with it, which is zigzag stitch on your machine, the hem edge. And next we're gonna turn up the hem by two centimeters. So taking your ruler or your gauge, measure two centimeters all the way around, pressing as you go, pressing and pinning as you go. And once we've done that, take it to the machine and stitch all the way around your hemline. So once the hem is completed, we're, then, we're now going to work on the neckline. So for this example, I'm doing the tie version and I didn't have enough fabric to cut my tie on the fold. So I cut two pieces out. I added one centimeter seam allowance and stitched them together. So I've got the seam there and I've just lined up my seam against the, the notch of the center back. And I'm just pinning one of the raw edges, right sides together, all the way around the neckline, finishing at the center front edges there. And we're just gonna sew all the way around with one centimeter seam allowance, starting at one end of the center front, finishing at the other end of the center front. We're just going to press over one centimeter on the raw edge there so I'm just pressing it over all the way along both ends of the tie and then again on the remaining raw edge of the tie again press under one centimeter it's kind of like a bias it looks like a bias uh, strip so I fold it over there and then just fold over a centimeter on the end ends there Next we're just going to fold over the tie and place those folded edges together, tucking in the end there 
and pin all the way along from one end of the tie across the neckline to the other end. So you're encasing any raw edges around the neckline there. And then once we've done that, we're just going to take it to the machine and we're just going to top stitch a few millimetres away from the edge to finish off that tie detail. just give it a quick press and then that is your short sleeve version with the tie bow detail complete just give it a tie, tie it into a nice pretty bow and that is the Ava blouse short sleeve bow tie version complete So working on the pussy bow tie version, slightly different. So we have our join at the back of the tie there. So just give that seam a nice little press. And then with your blouse right side facing out and match your back notch, centre back notch seam with the seam of your bow tie. And just pin your raw edges together along the neckline from the centre back out to the centre front edge on one side and then repeat along to the other side just pin all the way along to both sides and then we're going to go over to the machine and using our one centimetre seam allowance we're just going to stitch across the neckline there so one centimetre seam allowance and just stitch across from the one end of the neckline edge all the way to the other edge and then once we've done that, we are now going to place our pussy bow right sides together. So turn it over and we're going to match up the raw edges all the way along, along both sides of the pussy bow. Right to the end. Now I like to do my pussy bows with a square end, but you can also do the diagonal and you just pivot at that corner there and stitch across the diagonal. Now we're going to leave a five centimetre gap and I always like to place two pins as my marker. A five centimetre gap there just at the beginning of where the edge of the blouse starts and the pussy bow just so we can turn it through. So roughly five centimetre and then pin all the way down the other side of the pussy bow to the end. And as, as I say, if you want to do the, like the diagonal point to your bow, you would just then stitch in a diagonal from that corner point like I am showing you on there so like there yeah so we're now going to go to the machine we're going to stitch across both ends like so again with a one centimeter seam allowance working from the neckline edge out to the pussy bow and to the end and then once you've done that side you move on to the other side I like to work from the neckline edge out not from the end of the pussy bow into the neckline it gives you a much neater finish this way. So again, just working my way down. As I say, I'm just doing the corner ending, the, the square squared off shape of the pussy bow, but you can cut diagonally, so diagonally, like I said before. And I'm just going to turn it through. So I just like to kind of turn when I can get my fingers to work, turn it in it on itself a little bit. And I've just got a crochet hook, but you can use a knitting needle or anything that turns through. And you just literally thread or poke your knitting needle or whatever you're going to use through and you just pull the tie through like so and then just neaten those points 
with the end of your hook or your needle and do exactly the same so I'll just literally pop pop it in and push it through and it will thread your tie all the way out to that gap that we left at the beginning and again nice smooth and neat points and the cat gets in the way as usual and then we are going to press our tie down a little bit just to make sure it's nice and neat so just folding over your movie cat out the way moving over your edges there so they're all nice and neat a nice crisp press and do this for both sides and we're almost done almost finished last step now is going to press over on the remaining raw edge of that pussy ball that's left one centimeter so just press over one centimeter pin it in place to hold it down while you go on to the other side and just press the remaining side down by one centimeter and then we're just going to fold that right over now on to the like wrong sides together kind of thing and just going to match up that seam line that's there when we stitch the pussy bow down the first time so just literally you're just covering it over with the folded edge and pin it in place and just that five centimeter gap we're just going to pin that down and we're just going to sew that top stitch that down to close so I'll just repeat again along the other side give it a press if you need to just pin that gap closed pin your pussy folded edge over and we're just going to take it back to the machine and we're just going to sew from the five centimeter point all the way along all the way along to the other side i like to use my presser foot as a guide and i work a few millimeters from the edges there just to top stitch it all down and catching it in along the neckline nice and neatly and i should have had my blouse turned the other way around with the bulk of the blouse on the left there rather than going under the machine but either way works but yeah I should have had it turned the other way around it's a lot easier the other way because you don't have all that blouse to try and thread through but as I say it works both ways do as I say not as I do on that particular instance but yeah just just top stitch all the way along covering over that five centimeter gap closing it down finishing it off there and there you go so you've got the pussy bow version and this is the long sleeve pussy bow version here just tie into a nice bow enjoy wearing it whichever style you choose the long sleeve the short sleeve the pussy bow or the tie the bow tie version and that's the Ava blouse so that's it for today's video hope you enjoyed the so long tutorial and don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button if you haven't already done so let me know if you've made the pattern let me know what fabrics you used i love to hear what you've done and share with me and i shall see you on my next sewing video but until then bye for now